Hello, this is Song Han from Gacheon University. First of all, I'm glad to present our latest research on the effect of cisplatin on 3D spheroid tumor cells. What are special about these results are that we took real-time movies of entire experiments from the beginning to the end. In order to perform cisplatin cytotoxicity against 3D spheroid, we tested 12 cell lines for their capability of forming 3D spheroid. From them, eight cell lines indicated with the stars were selected for further study. Eight cell lines were selected, as you can see on the right side. Among them, we tested cisplatin concentration gradient from 20 micromole to 300 micromole. I'd like to show detailed movies of SHSY5Y and 293T spheroids. First, the control SHSY5Y spheroid grew continuously till the end. For the cisplatin treated spheroid with 50 micromole of cisplatin grew until 24 hours and exploded. This observation suggested that through the cytotoxicity of cisplatin killed individual cells but also degrade the extracellular matrices where the segregation of cells upon death was not observed in any other cells. 293T spheroid in detail. In comparison to the control, the cisplatin treated spheroid did not grow in size, but the cell division, activities, and movements were still observable. Since 293T cells are the kidney cells, cisplatin cytotoxicity could be neutralized by oxidation, fast cell divisions, or fast secretion. We need to investigate this phenomenon in future. On the other hand, I'm quite glad that kidney cells could minimize cisplatin cytotoxicity and survive or for the regeneration of kidney functions after cisplatin treatment. Conclusion. We tested five human cell lines, cervical cancer, adrenocelcomic alveolar basal epithelial cells, embryonic kidney cells, neuroblastoma cells, and osteosarcoma cell lines. They all could form 3D spheroid well. The cellular morphological changes and the ATP metabolic responses of 3D spheroid were recorded and measured in real time. After the cisplatin treatment, cell growth of the 3D spheroid and ATP generations of the corresponding cells correlated well over time in concentration depending manner. The embryonic kidney cells were most resistant towards cisplatin. Neuroblastoma cell lines were most sensitive and noticeable upon cisplatin treatment. Real-time monitoring of 3D spheroid brought above interesting outcomes. Thank you for your attention.